I'm Louise Field and I am joined here this evening with some of our Do Your Floor coaches where we will be sharing some of the exercises that are recommended in the Return to Running Postnatal Guidelines that were put together by Grania Donnelly, Emma Brockwell and Tom Goom. And this was so we with the aim so that we had a benchmark assessment for women returning back to running postnatally or post-surgery. And let's note that once postnatal, we are always postnatal. We're going to take on board that we are all individuals at different stages of rehab and fitness. And we will be offering a modification to practice for you to use to build up on until you get to your ultimate aim exercise. All, sim all, all exercises need to be achieved without symptoms occurring. Now this will include pain or heaviness or a dragging sensation within the pelvis or any pain on the outside of the pelvis. And in addition, we also want to avoid any symptoms of incontinence. For that reason, we ask you to adjust your depth, your stride, your speed of the repetitions according to your needs, because we certainly will do. Because you will see that on screen exactly how, as us, as individuals, we will have our own different wobbles. And we are gonna change our, our, our balance and our modification to our needs, because that's really fab. We are real women, and that is how we're going to do this today with you. So feel free to join in with us in real time of doing these exercises for um, the return to running postnatal guidelines with regards to load, load and impact management of. Now, first of all, they recommend that you do walking for 30 minutes without symptoms. So we are moving on from that position. So single leg balance for 10 seconds, ladies. That's where we're going to begin. Single leg balance. Now, the first modification would be if you wanted to have a point of contact with something to help your balance. So if that's you, please take it. Just a fingertip will do. I'm going to put that to the side for the moment. And so we're going to go for our 10 seconds. So when you're ready, ladies, taking one foot off the floor, nice long back, tall posture, chest open, collarbone nice and open, and we're doing our 10 seconds. What are we looking for? A centered pelvis. And if you want to increase intensity, elevate your knee. And when you elevate your knee, you're gonna notice that your glute activation here will increase. And change the legs, everybody. And come close to the camera here. Notice as well that the higher we bring the knee, there will be an engagement of the deep abdominals all the way through. This is wonderful, well done. And I'll say that's a good 10 seconds. So now we're going to go for a single leg squat for 10 reps. So again, modification will be a point of contact, collarbone open, and you're gonna gauge how low you can go. Single leg squat. So there is the modification. But then as you improve, taking your hands away, I know you can't see my face all of the time, but that's really not important. To then play with your depth. And the lower you go, yes, there will be more challenge, but we are looking for challenge. Yeah, there's going to be knee wobble. That's going to occur. But as you improve, you will feel that you can go lower and you can change your speed of repetitions. Superb. Lower down from the pelvis, taking the pelvis to the wall behind you. Nice tall leg and an activation of your glute as you stand. We're going to go just for another couple. My counting hasn't been the best on these videos, so I'm gonna just say another couple, but thank you. And now let's change legs. Good. Now don't take it for granted that as you change legs that you're gonna be the same on each side. That doesn't always happen. Play with your depth and feel how it feels. And if we're thinking of balance, our balance will change on a daily basis due to how tired we're feeling, or, or many kinds of things. So keep that on, I'm, I'm enjoying watching you. <laughs> Thank you for that lovely swell. That's looking beautiful, absolutely beautiful. We're gonna go just for another couple. Yeah, we do wobble, that's, that's cool. That's so cool. And you know, I'm always happy when people give a little wobble because I know you're challenging yourself. So 
I'm, I always celebrate a wobble. And that's our last one. Excellent. So I'm going to ask Susie here um, to time us. It's for one minute jogging on the spot. So when you're ready, off we go. Now, modification is to take it nice and steady. But those that feel that you can cope with it, start to up the ante by adding more speed, adding more knees, adding the arms up, 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 up and then getting higher and faster. Good stuff. Build up to where you feel comfortable each and every time. Different times of our monthly cycle, we're going to feel more vulnerable. So keep that in mind as well. That's also within the um, postnatal guidelines. So if you want to ever unload, if you want to download the postnatal guidelines, just Google them. I have got them printed off here. Keep going, ladies. I'm sure you're nearly there. There you go. There's the postnatal guidelines. Google it, download it, print it off. There's lots more advice to what we're giving just now and today. Well done. Thank you, Susie. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So now we're gonna go for forward bounds. Oh my gosh, right, so the forward bounds are intense. So modifications as always first, we're gonna do them all together, the modifications, and then I'm gonna add in the um, exercise we're aiming for. So modification, nice and tall. And we're gonna step forward and come down. Keep repeating on one side. And please continue through. Next option up will be no support at all. The next option up further on will be a longer lunge. And then your last of all will be to add in packed. Excellent. Last couple, because it is actually only 10 on each side of those legs. So now let's swap our legs over. Good. So you'll be choosing the depth, the length, and also impact. Now I like to exhale within my exercise. For one, we need our breath. Two, that will be really great activation of the core unit as we exhale. Yay, last one. 10 on each side, wonderful. So you're either gonna repeat that or you're gonna go for these forward bounds. And yeah, they're big. When you're ready, forward bounds. And I'm gonna travel back <laughs> because I'm making nice big ones. Way. So it would be 10, bumping into my furniture here. Way. And again. Whoa, one more set. Here we go. Woohoo! Yeah, that's a wrap. Our forward bounds. Right, so now we are going to hop on one leg for 10 repetitions on the spot. When you're ready, let's go. How high can you afford to hop? And how fast are they? And that is a good 10 already done. Go on to the other side. Lower intensity or higher. Challenge yourself. And that already will be done 10. Woohoo! And so now we're going for single leg running man. Again, 10 on each side. So, modification will be to take some point of contact. Second modification. You want to have it up a touch will be to kiss your toe on the floor in between the level of outward stretch and elevated knee. Those that like to, you may want to touch the floor, towards the floor, your choice. Please continue as you wish. Maybe kissing your toe on the floor, point of contact, full leg extension. Please keep going coaches. I'm gonna come a little bit closer. So we're looking at length of the torso, chest to the wall. Full extension of the leg, glute activation. Excellent. And as you repeat, 
as you do more repetitions, it's going to get more challenging. And I would say you've done about 10. <laughs> so let's do the other side. Here we go. Exactly the same. Choosing if you need a point of contact midway through the exercise. Reaching your chest towards the wall ahead of you. Long spine, foot long and flexed. Bring it through. Lift it up. Now I've kept it really, really slow so that you can see the positions here. Long leg. How high can you raise your leg? How low do you want to touch? So Sophie, she's going right down to the floor. I often just reach her head. All depends on how you feel today and how you want to take it. Well done, Charlotte. I'm loving it. <laughs> well done, Susie. And that will be your 10. Fantastic. Whoa. Well, these are the exercises. So have a go, see how you get on with them. Um, we do recommend that you continue to practice if you find them difficult until you can find they've become easier. Um, but there is also a baseline prior to running with regards to the pelvic floor group. And that is 10 fast repetitions with your pelvic floor muscles of a contraction, a voluntary contraction and relaxation. So that is your 10 fast ones. And then also to um, go for eight to 12 repetitions of a six to eight second maximum voluntary contraction. So you're gonna to have to really think on those ones, six to eight seconds, maximum voluntary contraction and then relaxation. Do take that rest in between. That will give time for the pelvic floor muscles to relax fully. And then last of all, it's a 60 second sub maximal voluntary contraction. So what is submaximal? Well, if this is our maximal, submaximal is gonna be down here somewhere, but for 60 seconds, and that will be 30 to 50% of your maximum, yeah? So 30 to 50%. Keep breathing when you do those ones because it's easy to hold your breath. You're better off doing one good engagement than lots of rushed ones. So be methodical, be thoughtful. When you start your running, Begin short one to two minute runs and then intersperse that with walks. Yeah, to give yourself a rest. Um, be aware of your length of stride on your run um, and power. Now, anybody who has attended the Adore Your Floor program, then remember that these, these exercises we've just done, they're going to totally complement your Adore Your Public Floor Home Functional program. So please use them in conjunction with. And we are going to share another real-time exercise session with regards to the return to running postnatal guidelines. Um, and that's actually going to be more with regards to the strength needed and recommended. So thank you for joining in with us. Thank you, coaches. Lots of love. And we'll see you next time, everybody. Thank you. Bye-bye.